what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm modi j and we are locked in i got a question for you what's on your tv now this is the finale episode five of the premise these episodes were unique to me They're, they were kind of different it was a different approach i like how each episode was different and they all had their little you know their little themes to them and their little message within them so this is episode five the butt plug and it's a little twist in it <laughs> that you're going to want to stick tuned for. But before we get into that, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you'll be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, this is episode five, the finale. And it's called Butt Plug. And if you're an adult, you know what that is. If you're not, you can look it up. I'm not going to tell you what it is till we get into it. So let's jump into it. This is episode five, a premise, Butt Plug. We start the episode off with some kids in school. Now we have an Asian kid and we have a young white kid. The Asian kid, they're in there playing dodgeball. He's like, yeah, I'm over here, I'm over here. He's over here doing his thing. You know how dodgeball is. We all get a little bit of competitive in there. And you know, when you start losing, you start getting kind of upset about that. We all been there, don't act like it. Some of y'all haven't been there and y'all were this kid over here that didn't want to play dodgeball. <laughs> Now, the Asian kid gets hit in the head. I told you they in there doing their thing, but you seen the Asian kid was too hype, and the, the little white boy threw the dodgeball at him and knocked him down to the ground. Even later on in the day, they're still messing with the kid. You know when people go to the water fountain, you push their head in the water so their face will get hit by it? Well, they did that. That's one thing to joke around and play. We did those pranks growing up. But then they cut the kid's hair. That's where I feel like they were taking it too far. You don't, come on now, it's somebody's hair. You're cutting their hair off in school. Now this young boy, he's looking out the window and he sees a little Asian kid walking by. And as he's staring out the window, you look again and... It turns into the older version of him. So it's kind of like he's looking out the window, reminiscing on his childhood. But he's kind of regretful for all the things he did because, come on now, that's just messed up. It's one thing to do a prank on a kid, but to cut his hair off and, and torture him throughout school. Yeah, you don't go that far. Well, this is our main character, Eli. And Eli, he's in danger of losing his home. So... <laughs> For Eli, he's looking at the bills and stuff. You hear his wife in the back. She talking about, well, you can, you can call Daniel. You, you, you're, you're dealing with a bank. He can, He's the biggest banker in the world right now. He's rich. You can ask him for help. But the reason Eli doesn't want to do this is because he was torturing Daniel when he was little. And that's why he was looking out the window thinking about it. It's like, dang, I really burned some bridges by torturing this kid. She's trying to be supportive. And she's telling him, look. Swallow your pride, you know, go up there, apologize and see if he'll at least take the meeting to hear if there's any way possible for him to help you keep your house. Now, Eli saying it's not pride, it's shame. And no one ever says swallow your shame. That is true. If you're shameful of something, no one ever says, hey, swallow your shame and get over that and do what you need to do. But when you think about it, if you're really trying to keep your house and you know someone that could potentially help you. <laughs> why not ask? All they can do is tell you no. Now look at Daniel. He went from the long hair that was getting cut in school to a very successful man. He's in here eating dinner, waiting on Eli to come in here so he can hear his proposal. Like, okay, you need help from me? Let me hear what you got. Daniel and Eli, they both sit down to have this meeting. Now they're talking about when they were younger and how things have changed. And he's just saying, you know, Eli, you used to be a person that had everything. Everything is good though. But he starts to give him a story about a ship and how they changed boards on it. When it's out at sea, you start to change the board and eventually nothing is ever the same. So it's the same ship. You're just changing little things to make the ship better and make it last longer. So what he's trying to tell Eli is that's what I've done over the years. I've still been me, but I've changed some things to make me a better person. Eli just wants an opportunity to raise his kids right. So he's really here to apologize. He doesn't want to apologize, but it's more I, I need help. So Daniel tells him, look. We were kids. Things are different now. You know, when you're kids, you do some things that you may regret when you're older, but you didn't know no better then. Now, some people hold these grudges against you. Some don't. But Daniel, for the most part, is like, you know what? That's behind us. Let's let's get focused. So Daniel tells him, hey, I see what you're doing. You're following the blockchain. What he means by that is if something is popular, if it's a trend, you're doing the same thing as them. Don't do what the trend is doing. Come up with your own thing. And this is where Daniel recommends him. Hey. You should make a butt plug 
And Eli's like a butt plug. He's like, not just a butt plug, something that can really be used to help out people. Now, this is my proposition to you. If you can do this, this right here will change everything about your life. If it comes true and comes to fruition and you make a good working butt plug. So Daniel gives them the proposition. You spend the next year of your life coming up with a plan and then I'm going to have investors look at this butt plug. And if you do a good job, you go above and beyond. It's going to change your life, Eli. And Eli, he has no other choice but to say, oh, OK, me personally, I would have heard make a butt plug. I don't even know the first place to start. I know where to buy some from. I know where to like go online and order some from from, <laughs> from a lady friend. But making one nah i'm gonna go ahead and just get me another job or something eli here's the opportunity of a lifetime he has one year to get this butt plug together so he presents the opportunity to his wife he tells her look i gotta stop doing everything i'm doing and dedicate myself solely to this for the next year you even got to get an extra job she's looking like uh okay i hope it pays off but at the end of the day she has to do it because she's the one that came up with this idea about even going to daniel our boy Eli, he's getting to work now. He's doing all kinds of research. He's on the laptop listening to people. Oh, yeah, you need to make the butt plug the right size. Too small, it falls out. So he's doing all the research he needs to. I didn't even know this much research was involved to make one. This man got blueprints out. He didn't hire a firm like, hey, I need help with this. I need you to scope this. I need y'all to move this to there. We need to make this happen. Because remember, we on the clock. 365 days, people. This is starting to look like rocket science. He's over here doing interviews. He has the diagrams down. He's okay. This is a example point 603. Okay, we need that part there. What kind of metal do you need? Okay, we need that. Let's get it. I'm talking about he's working harder than I ever worked on anything in my life. He's out in these desert areas. He got armed guards with him. He's blindfolded and stuff. He's out here trying to make it happen. I'm talking about very detailed work. If I have to go anywhere to do research like this, I, I'm, I promise you, I'm not doing it. I'm sure you guys are probably like, yeah, that's just too much work right there. <laughs> the time is here. It's time for this meeting. We got the butt plug in our bag. We got all the research. We got our speech in our head. Let's see if we can impress Daniel. Now he meets with Daniel before they go into the conference room to have this. And Daniel's just saying, hey, I hope you brought something good. Not just something regular, you know? Something that's going to wow these people and make them spend their money. Now, remember, Daniel was very, very successful. One of the richest bankers in the world. So you better have your A game together, especially in front of all of these investors. It is now time. We get in here. We have some of the richest people in the world. We got some of the best investors. We got some of the people that do the best kind of analytics. So everybody that's in here to make a company run, to be a Fortune 500, is in here. Plus, we got a CEO of two Fortune 500s in her lifetime. But she doesn't have a personality either. So <sighs> this is about to be tough for Eli. Eli has his speech down. I'm like, okay, he really, <laughs> he really took this serious. He brings up the butt plug and he tells him, this isn't just your ordinary butt plug. This thing is going to do more than just be a sexual stimulant for people. Now, he's starting to show the sex toy market and how it's going up each year. But what he does with this butt plug is it's just not sexual stimulation. It's actually helping cancer. It's helping you identify that before it even happens. It's a little camera in there. And now he's made it so people, it'd be so discreet that people aren't ashamed to buy it. And also, I told you, he was making these moves. He was going out there with those armed guards. He went to Bolivia to negotiate the price of zinc. And that's what he made the butt plug out of. So not only do you buy this butt plug for $1,000, the price of it will go up. So even if you melt it down, the price of this product is going to be worth more than what you bought it for. I'm talking about Eli went above and beyond. So everybody's looking like, you really went and did all this for a butt plug? So this thing is sounding very, very advanced. Now, this is where I tell you the story is about to <laughs> take a turn. He's talking about a product being undervalued. Now, you remember, Daniel was undervalued when he was a child. So Daniel's looking at this and he has to stop him. He has to stop Eli real quick. And he has to make, you know, make a comment and let Eli know what he's actually thinking about the product. He asked Eli, you put your entire heart dedication blood sweat and tears into making this blood plug over the last year 
And Daniel was like, yes, I did. Eli says, good. Well, you know what you can do with that butt plug? You can shove it up your ass. <laughs> the reason he says this is because it's revenge. He made Eli work a whole year, waste his whole life, <laughs> his whole life in the last year, making a butt plug. All this research, traveling across the country, traveling across the globe, negotiating with different governments just to tell him to stick it up his ass because he's getting even from when they were little man revenge is a dish best served code eli thanks daniel before he leaves daniel's just looking at him like uh get out of here and when eli gets home he tells his wife daniel made the worst decision of his life now remind you daniel's already rich if he gets richer like, who cares it's like he's not going to be able to tell the difference but daniel didn't make the bad decision daniel has several other butt plugs here that means he didn't had other people from school come up to him and ask for forgiveness and he had them waste their life because he was getting even with them from when they were younger man oh man the rich oh, the rich do rich things and hey you don't want to cross them because they'll make you do some silly things there you go, episode five of The Premise. That was the final episode, butt plug. Let me know what you think about this. If you were Eli in that situation, would you have took a year out, put all your blood, sweat, and tears, all your money, all your resources, quit your job, make your wife work an extra job just to make this butt plug for an opportunity of a lifetime. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely wouldn't have did it, but that's just me. I'm Old IJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And I got a question for you. What's on your TV? Jimmy on the beat, boy.